Israel has decided to put in daily a four-hour pause to allow civilians to evacuate the bombardment of northern Gaza. The fighting continues against the Hamas enemy, the Hamas terrorist, but in specific locations for a given period, a few hours here, a few hours there, we want to facilitate a safe passage of civilians away from the zone of fighting and we are doing that, Prime Minister Netanyahu told reporters. A tweet from the IDF regarding the same read, there is no ceasefire. There are tactical, local pauses for humanitarian aid for Gaza and civilians. These tactical pauses are limited in time and area. We are also providing humanitarian corridors for civilians in Gaza to temporarily move south to safer areas where they can receive humanitarian aid. Our war is with Hamas and not with the people of Gaza. Another video shared from the IDF showed WHO trucks carrying aid and supplies moving into Gaza. Meanwhile, Israel is facing assaults from all corners as the Iran-backed Houthi militia in Yemen launched a batch of long-range ballistic missiles on the southern Israeli city. Also commending Israel's military offensive against Hamas in the Gaza Strip, Prime Minister Netanyahu said that Israel does not plan to reoccupy the Palestinian territory. We don't seek to occupy it, but we seek to give it and us a better future, he said in an interview. The Israel Public Defense, which generally provides legal assistance to those who cannot afford a lawyer of their own, has stated that any lawyer or law firm will not represent any Hamas terrorist who was arrested after the October 7 mayhem and massacre. The decision has been approved by Justice Minister Yarav Lenin. In addition, U.S. President Joe Biden has also stressed that there are no possibilities of a ceasefire in Gaza. Biden said that the U.S. government will not stop until it gets the hostages out. In addition, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu shed light on the possibility of a peace deal with Saudi Arabia despite the intense fighting in the Gaza Strip. Previously, Saudi Arabia had criticized the conduct of Israel in the war, expressing its solidarity with Palestinian nation in its bid for legitimate rights.